And welcome back to some more of the new Gimmins Ambition with me, Polar Dash. Uh, we have now reached turn 18. And um, on the last turn, which was 17, um, turn 17, um, I'm up here in space. Uh, our dots here are increasing while theirs is decreasing. We got our nice setup now with the uh, the newly acquired uh, high mobility Zaku twos. Uh, our uh, aces are making short work of anything that the Federation are bringing out of Luna two. Uh, our defense fleet up or down here uh, below Luna two uh, completely crushed the Federation's uh, space fleet. That, that they built to uh, in an attempt to like uh, I guess bypass our defenders or defense line around Earth's orbit, uh, and uh, now that uh, they've been completely almost uh, been completely erased, uh, I'm using my uh, forces to sally out of our defense lines to uh, capture these uh, juicy resource points that the Federation uh, uh, that the Federation still has under their control. Um, so we're gonna mix all of space hours and then I guess just contain uh, the uh, Federation Space Forces in Luna 2. Just make like a nice blockade. Um, and uh, right, make sure that uh, that uh, we keep Earth hours so that we can focus, uh, focus all of our attention on the attack uh, for North America, you know, or the uh, the assault on North America. Uh, right. The only problem I have is that they're they're able to launch HLVs out of their production centers on Earth to get into our rears here. So I guess I'm gonna need to leave some guys behind to take care of that. But if they do it like if they just do like a surge of HLV launches, I'm I will be in trouble, so I guess I'll have to be careful what I uh, use to take these points. I guess I can't invest everything into the uh, the capture of their resource centers, but I guess I have to hold some back or some. Um, right, so I got all these guys in Spain. They're gonna begin their uh, their flight across the Atlantic, uh, and then we're gonna try to uh, synchronize it. A two-front assault with uh, Dozel here commanding his uh, ragtag team out of Canada, and uh, I'm not exactly sure who is under, who is commanding this blob of dudes I got. I'm not sure who was the highest-ranking officer in here. Noyan is left behind in Odessa to uh, uh, coordinate a defense because I'm sure the Federation are gonna take this. Uh, chance to uh, retake it once I move all my guys out into uh, North America. Um, Fish, he's on his last string. And uh, Top is making her uh, trek out toward, back toward Odessa. Um, and Norris will manage to sink that uh, submarine. And he, I guess, is on his way to sink the other one, which is this, maybe? Maybe they pulled it back? I don't know. Okay, so that's that. Um, right, I don't think I've uh, unlocked any new research thingies. That is something to be concerned about. Let's invest stuff in the research. Uh, boom. And, uh, and all my monies. Okay. Uh, so we got our uh, mobile armor tech to level seven. Maybe that'll unlock something next turn. And uh, you know, I don't really think I need to build anything. Do I need to build anything? I think I finished construction of the Atoms, which are going to help defend Odessa. Uh, or maybe I can send them out toward New York, I don't know. Um. Our, uh, our 
our spy level got reduced to A rank, so we're gonna get more spies out there. Uh, I guess more funding, so I can do this. Yes. Okay. Um. Now. Maybe I can research something that I haven't researched yet. Like, um... I don't know, maybe the GOG? I'm wondering if I need to, uh, research the GOG in order to unlock, like, the Zagag and all those, um... Other amphibious suits. I don't think the Ek guy is like a good. Um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, what's that? What's the word I'm looking for? Foundation, you know, to uh, to work off of. You know, the technology used in the the Ek guy. I'm not sure if it's uh, if you can. Uh, then build Zugox out of that. So maybe I'll need to uh, build a GOG prototype so my scientists got uh, that to work off work off of you know to um, build better amphibious suits like the Zugox. Yeah. Then I also got that uh, Prototype goof that is still like around here, and um, my the goofs I got don't got shields, which I was disappointed at. Well, this is kind of cheap. The MSO six R one's uh, upgraded version. It's only a thousand. Maybe I'll do that. Um, This bitch is expensive. But see, it's got a shield. But it doesn't got the finger Vulcans. It's wielding a Zaku machine gun. No, no, yeah, no. I, I want units with shields. So I'm gonna research that. And then, um, I guess the R1s, in case this will unlock stuff. And it's cheap. It's only a, a thousand credits. And it's, it's kind of only gonna take two turns to research. Alright, so there goes all my money. Um, I'm also building this Guazing class. I can't forget to uh, upgrade it, give it upgrades. Okay. Actually, how much? Can I build another one? Since I got all these resources? I can! <laughs> I, c I could build another Guazin if I want to. I think that's that's a little overkill. My my fleets in space are doing an okay job doing their thing right now. So maybe we'll hold off on that. I'm gonna, I can just hoard the resources and uh, use them as necessary once the time comes to it. All right, so I suppose I'm done here in the operations screen. Let's get into space here. And yeah, since I am not leaning back. My neck is starting to hurt. It's the problem I have with playing this game. Alright, so Bosk needs to die. Uh, Alright, he couldn't escape because uh, there's no control. Nice. Gop also needs to die. I think I might send. Yeah. Vaughn. Uh, so, who are all my guys that got crippled? I thought I got... I thought I had... Uh, Vaughn took some hits. You... Oh, you were on a... Right, you were on a point. Oh, I should have just let you attack then. That was stupid. We lost a dam. These guys are just kind of floating out here. I got Barum and Twanning. 
Morrigan. That was... And... Does this say... No sign. Villy! Villy got... Messed up. Okay. Now I was kind of wondering if I if I can uh, send my guys into Luna 2. Like the game says, unless uh, Garen gives you the go, you can't take production centers away from the enemy. Um, you can only take the production centers that Garen wants you to take. But I wonder if I could just send guys inside it to stop them from spawning guys out into open space. But just containing them in Luna 2. Something to try out. But okay, um... This shouldn't be too hard what I want to do here. Aqua... Uh, You're scanning. Nice, you got the gun cannon. Doesn't pile up by an ace. It's good. Uh, the Guazine is gonna scan... Whatever this is. Fail. Uh, what else could I send? These Hoplas. Over here. Scan. Fail. Damn it! I'm just gonna try to find spots where there's little Minoski. Can't even get that far. Uh, Barum. you stand on this point. Oh, you can't scan from there. Well, you gotta be, like, right next to the guy to scan with moose eyes? Oh, no, no! That's right. Just because the gun cannon's been already scanned, I won't. Alright, so... Barum, go toward whatever that thing is. And fail. God damn it, this, what is this? And Twanin, you can stand on the launch point. Maybe that'll prevent... The enemy from launching things up in here. I'm sure though that it'll just like uh, pop up in the, the the squares, hexes surrounding the point. Uh, random Zaku two C's. Go here. -ish. You are. Like here ish. Um, right, but this gun cannon is a cause for concern. They, have, they only have half hit points because I blew them out of the HLV. Can't seem to scan this fucker. Alright, how much shit do I need? The, uh, the energy bars, the energy bars confuse me, like, it looks like they only have half, half hit points. Hard to make out, at a glance, how much hit points all my guys have. Uh, then Vaughn needs to pull back. Right, that's why I want to keep just, like, a free Musai around like this, with a thing inside. So, like, while my, uh, I send my ship out to repair, I can, uh, get the cat guy that was captaining my damaged warship and put him in a, another vacant warship to command so that he's continuing to fight, gaining experience points. So I'm gonna put this fighter in here. Who else was all damaged? Is that it? No, I think that was it. Yeah. Uh, but these fighters can get back into 
there's some kind of sh places like you can get in here. And, uh. I don't know. I don't need fighters anymore. And Bond can go back like here. Ah, uh, Kosson might need to stay there. Else this guy might take the point, and that'd be bad. Okay, meanwhile, the cock. You're going to... Back up Shima and Makube. Who's gonna take up Bosk? Hmm, kinda should've divided these. Would have loved to have like Shima or something take up Bosk. Not, not, not cold. That'd be silly. Barry. No, whatever. Uh, we'll just advance our guys forward. And just have whatever that can't get in range of Gop to shoot at Bosk. So they can all share in the delicious experience points, I guess. Alright, this Musai is vacant. Um, so I'm gonna leave it close to. Leave it close to uh, Vaughn so that he can. Jump on board this next turn. Uh, the pop blood can. I don't know, we'll just float around. Uh, Colt and his Zaku 1 army. You, you guys actually need to pull back a little bit. But this is gonna happen. Oh, wait, that might not happen. That's not gonna happen. Never mind. Whoops. Okay, well. Whoops. I was gonna, like, mix Cult in with this squad, maybe, so that he can get experience points, but... I messed up. I keep forgetting these guys can't go very far. Uh, and I guess Cult Squad is gonna get a shout up, but whatever. I got plenty of extra Zaku 2 Cs that are coming up behind them. Okay, so this, this gun cannon I left unattended. Get over here. Hmm. Oh, you can scan. Scan. And fail. Fuck. Alright. Oh, but I want Kasuya to shoot down Bosk. <laughs> This this little bitch had tons of firepower too. I don't really want to engage in close range combat, but I mean, Cell can shoot at it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so on, you gonna shoot this? And Cell, you gonna shoot this? Do I? Commit these Zaku two Zaku ones that lost their uh, team leader to hit this gun cannon. What does the gun cannon have for its close range weapons? Well, it's got a beam rifle, you know, and uh, fucking head Vulcans and stuff, and his missile launchers. He's got everything. His entire arsenal can be brought down on two Zaku ones to rip him apart. Uh. Right, and Twining's gonna take 
retaliatory fire from the beam rifles and the missile launchers. And oh, you know what? I would I would love to know what this is. I might need to commit Cassilia into going for a silly scan. Ah, okay. Can't scan. Oh, I gotta get like all point blank range, really? That's silly sauce. Okay, I guess Cassilia is not getting to shoot Bosk. Right, the reason why I'm so like trying to get Cassilia to shoot at Bosk is um. When, when heroes take out other heroes, they get these, like, pips. See those things over her, the right side of her head? Those mark uh, ace kills, I think. And uh, those go toward promotions. Uh, experience points and promotions are separate in this game. Like, they have their rank. She is a, uh, a shoujo, which is like a, like, like a sort of general. Where she is a general, she's like, not, not best general, but better general. Um... And her experience points goes toward her levels. Um, I think the, her rank uh, improves her traits, while experience points just increase her attributes. So like, you see uh, the three traits that, that are all in Chicken Scratch down there below her face. They're marked with Roman numerals. Uh, it's, you know, they're level 1, so you get, if you get Roman numeral 2, that's level 2, and such and so forth. So it's better that heroes take out a, take out uh, enemy heroes so that they can get promotions. And you can't you don't they don't automatically get promoted either. It's supposedly you have to um like send them back into a production center and then from there you can uh, get promotions. I sup I guess they have to like get off their ship and uh, go to Giren Zabi's throne room and all kneel before him so that uh, he can knight them with the need colorful insignia or something. But yeah, that's that's how you get from which this game. I, I, I'll probably like never do it. <laughs> it just seems like too much work. Anyway, uh, so Cassilia, you know what? We need to, yeah, we need to, I want, I want to scan. And she can shoot at the gun tank too, or the gun cannon. You can't scan. Or did you scan already? I don't know. Whatever. Okay, so she doesn't want to scan. Maybe I scanned with her already. I probably did. Shoot boss. Uh, oh wait, I got I got two duders up here. They can do stuff. Conskin. Um Who's who's the better scan guy? I'm not even sure. I don't know. Yes, so what is this? Oh, it's a core booster! It, it looked like some kind of, like, Federation Dodai like thing from that picture, from the sprite, but it's the core, core booster. Well, no wonder why this fucker was powerful. Uh, the core booster makes, like, the, the, like, the chest, or the, the, I don't know, the abdomen portion of a Gundam. Can this thing come together? Like, if, like, would it give, <laughs> like, could it, like, uh, get information with the, Gun cannon and like give it extra hit points. I don't think the gun cannon comes with a uh, detachable core booster. I think only the Gundam does. But this thing's got a mega particle cannon, 18 damage six times, uh, 30 millimeter Vulcans and missiles. It's got one two range too. Damn, it's got 90 hit points. That's a lot for a little silly fighter. 28 dexterity, eight movements. Holy crap! And it's uh, both space and atmospheric. Uh, it's an atmosphere fighter. It can go both in space and uh, on onto the ground. That's wow. That's actually pretty amazing. If I play, if I was to play the Federation, I would like make tons of these. That's. I wonder how. I wonder if the. I wonder how expensive they are. Whatever. We're gonna turn to scrap this turn. Uh, Barum. Um. Ninety, ninety hit points. 
90 hit points, and we are sitting in Minoski. I got enough firepower on it to deal 90 hit points, but we are sitting in Minoski. I'm just gonna make them miss. So... Yuri, your Chibi class, since you're out of Minoski, you should just booster. Uh, and I got this gun cannon, which has how much hit points? 220, 110. You're gonna sacrifice your bodies for the glory of Xeon. I will give you guys Minoski, because you got melee weapons. At least the uh, gun cannon doesn't get a melee weapon. It can't do like a uh, Falcon Punch. Alright, so uh, since the Zaku-1 is getting in close combat with the gun cannon, Barum and Twaning can sh shoot out of their Musai's uh, to their heart's content, because they won't get retaliatory fire. Okay, um... Is everybody shooting at stuff? No! Konskin! Konskin... Gop, shoot him. He's like your. Gop is like your Federation equivalent. Gop? Go on, skin. <laughs> I don't know, to me, it's, that's what it seems like to me. Uh, I got random Utenheim. Random Utenheim can. Uh, Go up here. Uh, Musai not captained by anybody. Uh, man, they've been out in here in space forever, yet they have not taken, like, any damage. It's amazing. Um, what do I want to do? I'm going to launch Johnny. Actually, you know what? Let me. How far can they go? They can't. Oh, they can get within range of this. Okay. Um. Before I do that. They produced a warship and a fighter. And on the next turn, they might get a bunch of saber fishes, a ball, two ball P types, a gun cannon, or four saber fishes, three ball prototypes, and a gun cannon A on a pear tree. Um. But because they're at the 300 unit limit, uh, I don't know which production center they're gonna get their next units from. So like, that makes me like think, like, maybe I shouldn't even kill anything. Like, if I just sat around and let them, I don't know, keep the units they have now, I can like out-tech them. But that, that's lame. <laughs> I can, that's probably like a, uh, like a, what do you call it? Um, a min maxing strategy. You know, metagaming strategy, but nah, sounds lame. Okay, so anyway, um. Johnny, Annabelle, launch. Your target is whatever this is. You're gonna scan and find out. Or not. You're gonna scan and find out. You Fucking. Annabelle's like, I have identified a Columbus class! I am Tehiros. 
No. No, I wanted you to identify the fucking warship. You did. Um... Alright, so I launched those two first because... I want to... Oh, they already got their awesome shits. Okay, so whatever. But, um... I can make, like, a super team. I think Kelly is gonna... Kelly can need a... platoon of his own. Who do I have here? Well, Val... Val can... Well, Val, I think I believe him a command of a Musai to get on this R1. Which is fine. Ken Wiederstadt. I think he was paired with Johnny. So I guess he can go back with to, to... I don't know... Be his wingman. Takwan and... And Kalius is also, uh... With Annabelle. Okay, so we're gonna make a team. Val... Here. Uh... Ken... Here. Karius... Here. Yeah. Um, uh, that was, uh, Carrius going. Sir, you do not look well. What is the matter? And then that was like, Carrius, I, I feel as though I am standing over the bodies of so many, so many, so, so many of our warriors who sacrificed themselves for this war. What, what am I to do? Carries was like, Sir, this war, it will continue on for some time. Stop being a bitch. <laughs> or something like that. Um, right, so hey, they, they, I unlocked some kind of dialogue. Neat. Um, There. This is now a super duper team. Johnny outranks uh, Annabelle. That's interesting. I guess Johnny's gonna stand at that. Hmm. Alright. You're gonna... Is this formation fine? Yeah, I guess it's good. You're gonna not shoot the Columbus class. And this random ball prototype, I will give to Lesnar. I'm just gonna get a bunch of these. All right. Uh, so Lesnar is the better pilot, right? Tuck one is. My, he's got man. Tuck one's got a dodge of forty. That's pretty good, but. Lesnar's got a defense of 42. They're, they're both showies, which is uh, which are like second lieutenants. Um, and scan. And fail. Shoot this. Alright, so I got this, like, Zakuar 1. I think... I think the Zakuar 1 is gonna go on a grand adventure. He's just gonna flank around and... capture these. And then... I'm gonna send this... Gato out here... to screen. So I'm gonna send more Gatos out there. So that it, when, if the Federation decides to like launch whatever they built out to interfere, 
I can zone them with the Gatos, so that he can continue to... Side 7. <laughs> the Sakor 1 is gonna take Side 7 and completely throw off the, the whole timeline of Mobile Suit Gundam. That's where Amaro is from, Side 7. And uh, this is uh, where the Federation is keeping the, uh, the Gundam and the White Base. Uh, trying to keep it away from Xeon and, and uh, so that they're not uh, you know, discovering the Federation's latest super weapon secrets and stuff. Billy, you're effed. So you're gonna switch with uh, this random Musai. So I'm gonna do that thing I was talking about. Oh, you're gonna scan? Yes, okay. I had to swallow gum again. This gum is horrible. It keeps breaking apart in my mouth. Yes, okay, got the scans going. So, this. So, it's gonna go here. Killing. Killing, why don't you go here and scan? And, all right, you did something, Killing! Good job! Good job! Round of applause for you. In your forehead. Now that this thing is scanned, I, I doubt it'll survive. Oh, but it's captain by Wakane. Wakane is the uh, the guy in charge of Luna 2. Um, it's funny, in the show, in the original series, Wakane was like the biggest dick in the universe. Like, uh, in the show, uh, you know, the, the white base barely was able to... Uh, Escape the the cordon that the Xeon Sai had set up to stop the uh, white base from escaping back into Earth, and uh, they managed to break through since since the or thanks to uh, Amaro's bullshittery. And then the, they arrived at, at Luna Two to uh, see if uh, they can relieve all the refugees, you know, that survived the uh, Xeon's. I'm not sure if it was even attack, but their um, their thingy, right? that Zeon did. <laughs> Words aren't coming out. Uh, but anyway, so, so Wakane, he like refused all the refugees and was like, do GTFO. Um, but in the movie, right, which was like a uh, shortened version, like a condensed version of, of the entire series, they like cut out the entire like uh, two, three episodes of Luna 2. So, so Amaro and Umbright and the White Base arrived in Luna 2 and they were like, can we relieve all these refugees and and before before what Kane could say no like like the they they did they, they made like a cut and then then it went to the scene of the white base leaving the <laughs> two I thought that was funny anyway okay so I wasted time uh, explaining unnecessary stuff uh, the laws the laws uh, shoot something. You can shoot uh, this, and uh, killing. You know, why don't you continue your assault on the Columbus class, right? Because you claim he's so stupid, the captain, commander of the Columbus class. I'm sure, the single ball can be taken care of easily by these guys. And I guess that's it. I'll be surprised if Johnny and Annabelle doesn't finish the ship off. You know what? Fuck the Columbus class. We're just gonna make sure that this thing dies. No warships allowed. And this is a little iffy, so... This is good. Oh, this got one. This thing's got one-two range. Wow. Okay. And 
And I got everybody shooting at stuff, everybody that can shooting at stuff. And I suppose that will end uh, this video. Yep, I reckon it. It will. Um, next time. Next time, it's back down to Earth, where we're gonna start uh, pushing guys across the Atlantic. Alright, so see you then. Bye.